we want to evaluate the given in definite integrals. First, we have the integral of six divided by the square root of the quantity four minus nine x squared dx. Looking at the integration formula that's provided on the right, notice how the denominator fits the form of the integration formula shown here, where we have the integral of du divided by the square root of the quantity a squared minus u squared, which is equal to arc sine of u divided by a plus c. Let's rewrite the integral so it better fits this form. This is equal to the integral of six divided by the square root of a squared is a constant, and since two squared is equal to four, we have the square of two, and then minus u squared, where u is a function of x, and nine x squared is equal to the square of three x. And we still have dx. So now it better fits the form of the formula, and we can also identify a and u, where a is equal to two, and u is equal to three x. Since u is equal to three x, not just x, we need to perform u substitution, which means the next step is to determine du, where du is equal to the derivative of three x times dx, giving us three dx. Well now we can substitute u for three x. We can also substitute a for two, and notice how we're left with six dx, and we have du equals three dx. So we can either divide both sides by three to solve for dx, or multiply both sides by two, so the right side is exactly six dx. For consistency, I'm gonna go ahead and just divide both sides by three and solve for dx. It's not always easy to determine what to multiply or divide by to get an exact match, and this method always works. Simplifying, we have one-third du equals dx. Now we can substitute one-third du for dx, and we can just factor out the six. Writing this in terms of u, we factor out the six, and then again, dx is equal to one-third du, we factor out the one-third, and then we have du, and now the integrand function is just one divided by the square root of the quantity a squared minus u squared, which is a perfect match for the integration formula. Simplifying and applying the integration formula, six times one-third is two, giving us two times the arc sine of u divided by a, which is three x divided by two plus c. This is the antiderivative or indefinite integral, which we often label big F of x. Looking at our second example, we have the integral of two divided by the quantity 16x squared plus 25 dx. Notice now we have a sum in the denominator without a square root. So looking back at the integration formulas, Notice now the integral fits the form of this integration formula here, where we have the integral of du divided by the sum of a squared and u squared, which is equal to one divided by a times the arc tangent of u divided by a plus c. Again, let's rewrite this so it better fits the form of the formula. So the given integral is equal to the integral of two divided by, well, a squared is a constant, and 25 is equal to five squared, so let's write this as the square of five plus 16x squared is equal to the square of four x. So now comparing this to the integration formula, we now know that a is equal to five. We also know u is equal to four x, and now we need to determine du, where du is equal to the derivative of four x times dx, which is four dx. And now looking back at the integral, we can substitute a for five, we can substitute u for four x, and we're left with two dx, and we have du equals four dx. So we can either divide both sides by two to have exactly two dx on the right, or we can just solve for dx. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and just divide both sides by four to solve for dx. Simplifying, we now know that one fourth du equals dx. So finally we can substitute one fourth u for dx and write the integral in terms of u. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll begin by factoring out the two and then dx is one fourth du. Factor out the one fourth and then we have du. 
And the integrand function is now just one divided by a squared plus u squared, which fits the formula perfectly. Simplifying and applying the integration formula, two times one fourth is one half, giving us one half times one divided by a, which is one fifth arctangent of u divided by a, which is four x divided by five plus c. Simplifying one last time, we have one tenth arc tangent of four x divided by five plus c. And let's go ahead and rewrite this using big F of x. Again, this is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. I hope you found this helpful.